All right, so I kind of expected episode 11 to be slowed down a little bit after the emotional ride from episode 10. They sort of did that, but then everything after that was like pow, 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 pow. I'm like, wait, slow down. So first, I do love the fact that Sung Yo's parents was pretty much the highlight of this entire episode. So at first, yeah, they agreed to the divorce. They told Sung Yo the sadness in his voice was very heartbreaking. Here's the thing. The parents have been fighting before which I think caused the whole not having any romantic anything between themselves. Just when you thought you're seeing all of the romantic fire coming back within their marriage, but then it goes downhill over a misunderstanding. This is where I think Sung Yo and Yondu have one thing in common, envy. Yondu, her situation is she was envious that she saw another kid at the sauna with her mom. So, well, one, I can't blame her. And two, she has one. Not officially yet, but she has one. Sung Yu's family, they fight a lot, but at the end of the day, they're always together and they love each other, which is kind of like the complete opposite from Sung Yu's family. And if you think about it, he's always at her house with her family more than his own. Sung Yu's family, they don't really express their feelings a lot, but with the whole situation with the mom, I'm actually happy they did. But going back to Sung Yu's mom, whoa, they, they had me scared. At first, she forgot that she accepted retirement, but then she said that she was being resigned. And then she was heading to the airport, forgot her suitcase, forgot her phone, and didn't even know why she ended up at the temple. I'm like, those are signs of memory loss. I'm like, no, 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 no. We already have one character diagnosed with something. We don't need another character. It's already sad as it is. And when you add in the expired milk scene, I'm thinking, are they foreshadowing something? I thought this drama was a rom-com. And it is. They got romantic scenes. They got comedic scenes. But whew, it's more than that. And yeah, that's pretty much a gist of the episode in my review. Is there anything I might have missed? Please leave in the comments below. Other than that, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. See ya.